attention, son. This is for your own good. You know, even the transit TV teacher makes mistakes. My writer friend Maria is always correcting me on the proper use of the words lie and lay, or lying and laying. In fact, she proofread a script I wrote recently and corrected me 20 times. This is an instance where my grammar instincts are usually wrong. And unless I really stop and think before choosing, I usually make the wrong choice. So, let's review. Now, we're not talking truth and lies here. In our discussion today, the word lie refers to reclining or putting down. The same with the word lay. In the present tense, meaning the action is happening right now, the easiest way to choose correctly between lay and lie is remembering that lay takes an object. Say that with me and get it into your head. Lay takes an object. In other words, you have to physically lay something down. For example, lay the book down and come over here. The object there is book. And remember, you yourself cannot be the object. For example, if someone says to you, lay down on the bed, that is incorrect. What he's really saying is, lay yourself down on the bed. And since you can't be the object, since it has to be some other actual object, what he should properly say is, lie down on the bed. Again, if there is no direct object involved, then the proper word to use is lie. I want to lie down for a while. In this example, you're laying yourself down, and since you can't be the object, the correct word is lie. That's the thing about language. There are rules. There's a right way and a wrong way, and it's our job, not an overly difficult one, to learn the rules and get it right. I'm the Transit TV teacher, Justin Vior. And now it's time for extra credit. Email your answers to extracredit at transit-tv.com.